So when I think of Desenzo, I'm just like, damn, he's like paving the way like for like the younger guys. It's like we're watching Desenzo like make his way in the States. Desenzo, he skates like he's 18 and he's 34 years old. Like what's going on? Teach me the ways of how you do it so when I'm 34, I can be doing what you're doing. Straight up, he's a beast. Yeah, when I think of Matt, what definitely comes to mind is he's a, he's a pressure guy. When the heat is on, he's like, all right, I'm gonna turn up. I think that he's probably got like the most power and like technical skill that I've ever seen like in a combination. Mickey, I mean, he's um, undeniably talented at skateboarding. Just super technical. Doing a trick switch is like not even a difference for him. It's just like the other way. Dude, so Shea has just been unreal to watch his progression. Yeah, Shea is the new generation of sick skater. He just looks really good on a board, and he's got some of those really hard tricks too that like nobody really does. He's young, he's motivated, he's got a very unique style of tricks that I think will only help him flourish in the future. I love watching TJ skate because it, it's fun, you know what I mean? It's entertaining. He looks like he's having a blast when he's skating. Well, I've lived in uh, the United States for quite a few years now, since 2009. So I've lived in Southern California for just about six years now. Of course, moving to Southern California, you're gonna get a lot of benefits for your skate career. Stuff like, you know, skating with people that are really, really good and are progressing your skating. And not just like six months out of the year, but um, there's no off season like back in Canada and Vancouver. It's like, you can go street skating, you can skate outside. It's January right now and it's a beautiful day, so we're skating and that's why we all come here. The weather. In Canada, six months a year you can't skate and I believe in all of British Columbia on the west coast. There's absolutely no indoor facilities to prepare for things. And then, of course, the heart of the skateboarding industry is in Southern California. Since the, the national championships in Toronto, I just remember things were starting to get more serious. That was right when stuff started getting weird with the borders. Now it's like, whoa, okay, like this is, this is becoming something. Like, who knows what's gonna happen from here? And then we went through that and got that contest done. And then shortly after, it's like the world changed completely. We were skating that contest and every day the whole Corona conversation was just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And by the time we were finished the event and flew home, I think it was like five days later, then the borders got fully shut down. Like it was so fast. We like just got it by the skin of our teeth. I remember getting ready for Street League Las Vegas and every day it was like something new was announced. Vegas basically got canceled, and after that it was just, the next one's canceled, the next one's canceled, the next one's canceled, oh, the Olympics are canceled. Like, oh, like what am I gonna do? <laughs> Skateboarding during the pandemic has been weird as it gets, period. You go to skate parks, you get kicked out, you pretty much can only street skate. Now it's kind of weird because you can skate certain parks and then other parks are closed. It depends on the, the county. During the pandemic, my favorite skate park, Chevy, has been open the whole time. So I've just been skating here the whole time. And now all the skate spots are open. Skating for me during the pandemic has been a lot of freedom and skating with my friends out in the streets or at a park and there's no pressure and it's like if you're not feeling like going hard, you don't go hard. And if you are feeling like going hard, you just send it. So yeah, basically it's just like been a lot of freedom and that's what skating is all about. Too.
What would it mean to me to be a, one of the first Canadian skaters in the Olympic Games? It would mean a lot to me. I mean, I would be hyped just to be in there. And you know, it's, it's a milestone just skateboarding in the Olympics. So to be part of that, to be the first one or ones from Canada is, is really cool, I think, so yeah. Yeah, it really is a crazy thing for me because I never once thought skateboarding would get to this level. I never thought we'd be in a position to potentially represent Canada. Um, for me, it would mean so much to do what I love to do and you represent the country that shaped me into who I am. So I'm definitely doing everything I can to you know, hopefully fulfill that.